record a little Absman gameplay here. Try to get a clean fight on this Black Panther. I love this fight. I think it's well designed. Yeah, it's it's fun. As long as he's playing into your intercepts, it's a good time. It was so odd to see Whiplash like outside of Quicksilver's abilities. Yeah. Passive Whiplash too. Yeah, that's a first. Played that very well. Not bad. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that very first fight. We had MSD on call. It, the fight went really well, so that was just the perfect way to start this video off. Uh, that was a boss at 8.2. Uh, Black Panther with Fighter Flights and Whiplash. It was a very interesting fight. And Absorbing Man. It was just such a fantastic option. So next up, we're going to jump into Eternity of Pain and fight the Big Bad Hercules here. Now, I've done this fight before, but it was with, it was with Magma Form. And so that's going to be one of the, the main focuses with uh, today's Absorbing Man video. Of course, we're going to be showcasing all kinds of rank 5 video. I I use a generic 4 to 5 gem on this guy, which is pretty crazy. Like, I must really like him for me to give him that, that resource, right? And I do. And the thing is, with Absorbing Man, I've just... I found so much with the character. You know, when I first started playing with him, I was just magma form, magma form, magma form. Just tunnel vision on the magma form on those incinerate passives because they do some nice damage. But what I've kind of failed to realize is is just how good the Uru form was. But slowly, slowly but surely, after using him on Path 9 so many times and being forced to use the Uru form for the immunities, I started to grow to like Uru form. I, I think... I don't want to say I like it more than Magma, but uh, I, I like them about equally now. And, and I really see how powerful both of them are. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing some comparisons. I'm going to be showing you guys a Winter Soldier fight next with Uru and then Magma like boosted and with Suicide. So like those are going to be going like as fast as that fight can really realistically go. Really compare Uru versus Magma. Which one's faster? Which one's better? Um, I think overall it's pretty even, but it is still fun to compare. Uh, but Uru form on this fight, bro, just shredding him. So some of the perks of Uru form, why it's really good, is because you're able to just, you know, one special one is literally half of what a special two takes. So, by throwing, you know, two special ones instead of one special two, you're able to to uh, refresh your form uh, much, two times as fast, right? So because you're able to refresh the, that form at two times the speed, you're able to just gain morph charges much faster. With those morph charges, then you can apply vulnerability passives, just upping your damage even more. So boom, that Hercules fight, EOP Hercules down in under two minutes, sub two minutes with the rank five abs man in Uru form. Just absolutely crushing that fight. All right, let's go ahead and move on to uh, Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. So we're fully synergized here. We're boosted. I think I'm fairly boosted. Yeah, here I'll show um, boosted and we have a suicide. So not max boosted. This is like on the lower scale of boost but still uh th this is gonna be pretty close to what uh absorbing man's max output can really be um and of course you know i'm not playing absolutely flawlessly there i just got hit but uh with you know relative good play <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna see we're getting off um those special ones boom getting the light punishes to stay near him to keep our form refreshed try to get as many morph chargers as we can we also have the synergy to apply armor breaks on our second medium attacks which is uh, really nice so here i'm gonna go for i think a medium light medium into the striker yeah i really love the striker on absorbing man because you can throw a heavy and then into the special and you still get the full increased critical rate um 
from you know charging heavy when your opponent's not stunned because the relic stun doesn't count as an actual stun, which is really great. And uh, boom, Winter Soldier down. Let's see what the time is. So in Uru form, under a minute, 54 seconds. 54 seconds in Uru, boosted suicide synergies. Now, let's just go right back in, exact same everything, same synergy team, same mastery, same boosts, go right back in, and then run it with Magma. And we'll see if we can beat those, what was it, 50, was it 58 or 54? I already forgot, it was 50 something seconds. We'll see if we can beat that with Magma. So, I do find Mag, I feel like Magma is like the more, you know, more fun, more flashy form but Uru, it's like the sturdy, tried and true form, like guaranteed, guaranteeing what you want. And it's just a really nice balance between the two. I think uh, just a uh, massive shout out to DLL for designing just such a cool character. He did such a good job on Absorbing Man. They're like, there's so many avenues that uh, he could have taken to Absorb Man. Um, so many different forms he could have picked, so many just different things he could have done. But I, I really like the way Absorb Man came out. I think he just did a phenomenal job for his first champion too. Just absolutely incredible. So you can see those passive incinerates putting in work. Uh, I got to use my relic here. I was trying to get back to that special two as fast as I can. Uh, and uh, I don't even need to throw the special two here. He's dead. That that was faster. That was faster than Uru. That was, let's see, 48 seconds. So Magma, slightly faster than Uru there. Uh, I think I also could have played the Uru a little better, but still not. It was like within 10 seconds of each other, you know? So both forms are really good. Now uh, let's use Uru one more time and just go rip through the next fight, you know, with class advantage here against Captain Marvel. Let's just rip through this with Uru real quick again with the boosts, with the synergies, with uh, with the suicides. And just see some uh, some nice damage here. So get in here with Uru, looking for those light intercepts. There we go. Um, and and that's, that's one of the coolest things too about Azur Man is just that he's really pushed me to learn light intercepting and it's, I love him for it. I absolutely love it. I, I hated it at first. Like, I really hated it. I was like, oh, you know, why can't it just be medium intercepts? And I've seen a lot of other people say that, but I'm really, really glad it's not like that because then I wouldn't have been pushed out of my com comfort zone. And sometimes you need an outside source to really push you out of your comfort zone to really learn and grow and adapt and change. And that's what Absorbing Man did for me. So you can see, boom, that Captain Marvel, dude, 38 seconds. She gone. Uru took care of that fight quick. Next up here, we have a Terax. Uh, this was in, I think, a uh, monthly event quest, just Thronebreaker. Uh, it was very interesting, though, because it had Power Shield. So you're going to see I'm doing, like, no damage, only the, the numbers in red through the vulnerability passives. That's the only damage that's slipping through. But then you're going to see, as soon as we get to a special, like, the first two hits, it's just going to take his entire health. Watch this. Two hits dead first two hits dead <laughs> let's try to slow that down let's see what those hit for boom sixty-one thousand crit did ninety-five thousand in red that was the first hit then second hit forty-five thousand crit and a hundred eight thousand in red <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, that's just his best matchup on Power Shield. I just, wow, 17 second fight. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay, now we're going to have some more Magma versus Uru comparison outside of Realm of Legends, outside of Winter Soldier here. We're going to go to Battlegrounds and we're going to fight a Galen with Uru and then with Magma. Uh, so we're going to start off with the Uru form. Go ahead, get that light pause. Uh, punishing his heavy attack boom right there get a little light intercept Ooh, feels so good when i hit those especially in battlegrounds and then here we're gonna go for a uh, special one i wanted him to get the unstoppable there uh because that's gonna give me mystic dispersion and then here gonna go ahead chain the striker into the special one boom does some real nice damage then uh right here unfortunately throws that special the ensemble messed me up a little bit but uh medium light medium apply the morph charges go for the special one he dead and that was that was pretty clean if he didn't throw that special two would have been even cleaner but 37 seconds 
54 and a half thousand points. Pretty good. Now let's run it back and go ahead for the magma form and we'll see uh, how this one goes. Uh, an absorbing man, dude, I've just been absolutely loving him for the victory track nodes. The fight or flight, brute, like fight or flight is just a phenomenal node for absorbing man. It's really, really good for him because he's just able to counter the unstoppable so good. So this fight, we're off to uh, a bit of a slower start, but uh, things are still going fairly well. Um, but you, you just, that's the thing with magmas, we're not really able to build up those morph charges. Here, uh, I'm just like, Gallant, come on, dog, throw this special. There we go. I didn't want him to get the unstoppable there, though, because he, uh, <laughs> that would have made him go uh, into 100. It would have entered into the harvest, if we don't want. There we take some damage, too. Th this fight's not going uh, <laughs> quite as well than, uh, than the other fight did. It would have been a lot better, too, if I could, if I saved the relic for when I got to the special, too, so I could get more crits. So that fight was not as good. 50 seconds still like 52,000 points you know like it's not it's not bad i still obviously won the round but it, it did definitely felt a little bit easier but a little bit more seamless with the uru form uh facing gallon in particular so i'd say edge on this one to uru form for battlegrounds facing against gallons uh, and we're gonna have some more uh battlegrounds fights i've just been man it's absorbing man uh, th this this is one of the reasons why I took him up was uh, one of the mass reasons I took him up was because he is just a very potent battlegrounds champion on offense and on defense. That's what I love about him. And what I love about Zorin Man is for this matchup right here, I just despise fighting this stupid teddy bear. I just I hate fighting Hulkling so much, dude. That indestructible is just so annoying. But Absorbing Man. Boom. Bye bye, indestructible. See ya. Like that indestructible, like it's, it's just not a problem at all with Absorbing Man. I just, I love that so much. Uh, it's definitely my favorite champion to, to fight Hulkling with. Um, and here with the Uru, you see we're just spamming so many special ones that our morph charges are really getting up there. We're at 258 right now. Uh, Magma Form is also pretty solid for Hulkling though. Uh, you just kind of want to let you want to hit him a bunch and then let the and then let the regen buffs fall off and that'll give you a lot of power gain and here i end up switching to, to magma i guess by accident i just got too much power which isn't a bad thing necessarily it's okay to switch fr from one form to another in a fight um it just depends you know like as long as you don't need the immunities even if you do need the immunities i mean you can switch for a short period and switch back always so next up we have Absorbing Man against a rank four Penny Parker. So a massive shout out to my buddy Zarafa. Uh, he's a he's a good friend. Well, first he I didn't I did the, the, the way me and Zarafa met was just facing each other in Battlegrounds. Like I never talked to this guy. I had no idea who he was before Battlegrounds came out, and we just started facing each other in Battlegrounds. And like he beat me, I beat him. He beat me, I beat him. Like we just go back and forth a lot. And so I started calling him my rival. Uh, and then rival turned into friendship. Um, and uh, once I took up some new chance rank five, I was like, hey man, you mind doing some practice matches with me so I can get some gameplay? And he was just all for it. And he was just really helping me out. So massive shout to Zarafa. And here he put down Penny. This wasn't a matchup I was planning on testing, but I was like, huh, I wonder how Absorbing Man would actually do for Penny. Uh, because, you know, our, our specials are unblockable. So, you know, in theory, he shouldn't be too bad for it. And, uh, yeah, that theory was definitely correct. Absorbing Man just crushed Penny. Um, wasn't even really worried about her shield. We could have taken it down, because with Uru Form, we do have access to Chris through the block. But you can see that's Penny Parker down 52,500 points in 53 seconds. I had no idea Absorbing Man was such a good counter to Penny. So that's that's sick. And then here we have, I think, the final fight against Rafa for this video. That's That null is not a rank 4 null. That is a big daddy rank 5 null, who is Rafa's favorite champion. I'm uh, really glad he finally got that null up to rank 5. I like ever, ever since I first matched Rafa, I remember like our very first match, he was using his null. <laughs> it's just, it's his, it's his favorite champ. That's just his guy. So really happy he finally got him to rank 5. And I, it was definitely a fight that I really wanted to test with my rank 5 Zora man because Absorbing Man is really, really good for Nella because you can see, boom, we have 600 morph charges, uh, which 
use pretty rare to get in battlegrounds. Um, if unless there is a Terax or a Null, uh, you know you're probably not going to be going to be hitting 600 uh, more charge unless it's those two champions. And so, unfortunately, we're not getting the best crit right here. If we were, he would already be dead. Um, but uh, yeah, this fight is over. He goes ready here with that unstoppable. He was able to get a block in, but we just throw my special. It's unblockable, break through that block and he goes down. So rank five null, 46 seconds, 54,000 points. That was like the same amount of points we got against Penny, uh, but that was rank four Penny. That was a rank five null. Uh, yeah, really, really, really sweet matchup. So then here, I think this is the final battlegrounds fight that I have for you guys. Uh, this might even be the last uh, fight of the video. We have a Cersei here, though. We're going for Magma Form. And this was one of my... I think this is my favorite Battlegrounds fight that I've done with the Absorbing Man so far. At least at a rank 5 level. Uh, no, I think maybe just ever. This fight was just really, really fantastic. So my plan here was to actually trigger Cersei's Lancing. So here I just hold block, let her trigger it, and then I'm going to hit her 5 times, and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to back off. Let all those regen buffs expire, and then boom, throw the special. We're going to glance again. It's fine, though, because, again, we get more buffs. We're back to another special two here. Just shy of a special three. Go ahead, toss this. That's a ton of damage. Now, I don't want her to trigger the glancing again, so we're going to go three-hit combo into a striker into... She's just dead. <laughs> It went absolutely perfect. Like, I had a rough idea of how I wanted that fight to go, but it just went... It went better than I even, like, had... A, better than the plan in my head. Like, just 35 seconds, 55,529 points. That's just... That was just too clean. And so, yeah, that is the final fight I have for you guys with the Rank 5 Absorbing Man. Oh, my goodness. I, I love this guy. Uh, I love Uru form now, Uru, and I, and I think that's the way to go. Like, you shouldn't really favor one form too much, regardless. You should just have a really good understanding and really like both forms and, and just know which form is right, depending on what job Absorbing Man needs to tackle. Just want to bring the right form. And sometimes it's Uru, sometimes it's Magma. Sometimes you're switching in between. And that's okay. And that is totally okay. Uh, both forms are fantastic, and I'm I'm just glad that I I've seen the light of the Uru, uh, the light shining off his bald silver head. But uh, yeah, guys, that is gonna do it for this Absorbing Man video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Subscribe if you'd like to see more Rank Five Absorbing Man gameplay. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified uh, when I go live. We're gonna be his pin. That I think he's been the biggest MVP for 8.2 itemless so far he is just a walking potion factory i didn't really get to showcase the regen in this video but uh oh that regen is is so powerful it is very potent uh, and it's just been a godsend in 8.2 so yeah guys subscribe if you want to see more absorbing man gameplay if there's any other absorbing man fights that you would really like to see that i didn't cover uh, or i haven't covered on the channel yet just let me know in the comment section down below uh subscribe if you want to see more thank you guys so much for watching Love you all. Peace.